Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first guide for the new 0.7 update. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to parachute, okay? Now, parachuting is quite basic. You can always look at the map to see where you are and then choose a location. And basically, the, most of the time, you want to be just lying flat like this. When you want to, when you get close to the ground, you just want to leave everything, or you want to press in a direction, okay, to guide yourself into a direction. So if you don't press any direction, then you're just going to be floating straight down. If you were pressing W, okay, um, when you open your chute, then you will be going in the direction where you were going in before you opened your chute, okay. Now, the big difference here with, para with parachuting is that if you, if you scroll your mouse wheel down, okay, then you don't have a lot of control over where you want to land. Basically, if you mouse scroll down or you mouse scroll up, you are free falling down. So, you are just increasing the speed at which you're going to hit the ground. But when you do this, you can actually control where you are going. And if I open my parachute now, I'm going to be I'm going to be heading in this direction. The wind can't really stop. Or I can press S. Okay. I can press S and then change the direction in which I want to go. Okay? So whether there's wind or not, I am still changing where I am going. Okay? And now I can land here. So when you mouse scroll your wheel down, you will hit the ground within 25 seconds roughly. If you mouse scroll your wheel up so that you look like you're free falling feet first, so whether you're free falling head first or feet first, you will be hitting the ground in about 25 seconds. The thing is, doesn't matter whether you push your WASD keys you won't have a major effect on where you are going to land. But if you skydive flat on your stomach, like you start out with, and you use W, you will be moving quite a distance over the ground. Okay? So that is my favorite way of parachuting at the moment, is to just lie flat because that gives me an extra five actually between five to seven seconds <coughs> depending on the height of the ground you know like if you parachute on uh, if you parachute onto a mountain you're going to be hitting the ground faster you know then if you're parachuting at the lowest point on the map you know lowest for sea level on the map so you're getting an extra five seconds of air time okay but this helps you a heck of a lot to get to where you want to be so we are here let's say we want to be at that town Okay, let's say we want to be at that town there. Now I'm going to press forward while I'm lying on my stomach and look there. Look there, guys. Now you are moving across the map. You've got much more control over where you want to go. Okay? And I can push it as long as I want. All I need to do is if I open my parachute now, I'm going to keep on going in this direction because this is the direction that I chose. Okay, now I want to land here. Okay, now I'm going to press my W to slow down. I want to land here. Okay, I want to land right here. Okay. So, where you open your parachute, you can, you can open your parachute whenever you want. But when you are flying straight down to the floor, you're going to have to, like, if you parachute head first, so that you get to the ground as fast as possible. The only advantages of that, guys, if, if you... If you start out exactly where you want to be, okay, and you parachute straight down, but you're going to have to open your parachute a little bit earlier because the speed at which you're heading towards the earth is much, much faster. When you, when you fall feet first, then the speed at which you're falling to the earth is also much faster. That's why it's just safer, safer um, you know, skydiving like you're supposed to skydive with your arms open and your chest to slow down your speed a, your speed a bit and then to to know where you're going, to have control over where you're going, okay? So the only advantages of 
going feet first is that you can open your parachute a little bit faster, but it doesn't matter. You are still going, you know, you are still falling much faster than what you would on your stomach. And yeah, and the control is just irreplaceable, guys. The control that you have, um, if you use your WAS, you know, ASD keys, is priceless. Yes, the wind, you know, the wind does affect you. If you just open your parachute, you do nothing. You know, like if you don't use your WAS keys and you open your parachute, then the wind is going to decide where you're going. But when you're when you're skydiving in a certain direction and you open your chute, then you're going to go that direction, okay? The direction that you were um, pushing all the time. So let's just see here. Why is it loading so long? I'm a single player. Okay, so here we go, guys. So I don't even have to use the map. Like, if I want to go there, right there at the bottom, okay? Then I can do this. That's the only reason I'm going to do this. Like, I'm happy where... I'm happy with this spot. I just want to get down to the ground. Okay? And then again, I use my W key, guys, because if you don't use your W key, you're just going to fall straight down to the ground. But if you use your W key, you are actually going to affect, okay, where you're landing. And pressing W helps, except if you're pressing W into a mountain, then it shortens your parachute. You know, then it shortens your time when you open your parachute. But like I say... At the end of the day, guys, I just prefer the the control, okay? The control is a big thing for me. So I like to open my map as soon as I, as soon as I respawn, okay? I like to open my map to know exactly where I am immediately. So there. So I open my map, I decide where I want to be. Do I want to go that way? Do I want to go that way? Normally I've got survival, so I want to go um, east, okay? So then I just go east and there. Now I don't have to wonder what town I'm heading to, okay? The faster you do that, the better, of course. But you guys can see, I am now going towards that town, okay? I'm going towards that town. And now if I open my chute, I'm still going towards that town. You guys see the wind is not having an effect on me. Because I've got my W key pressed in, I'm still projecting to the direction where I want to go. Okay? And now I can get to the town. So guys, try it out for yourselves. Okay? And the other thing is, if you haven't deleted your save folder in your app data, that's what the patch note said, you have to delete your, um, your save folder in your app data you know for scum and um, i will give you the path to the app data if you really don't want to press space bar so the first time you parachute you know don't wait don't wait until you're as low as possible the first time you parachute down press your f key see if your guy opens up his parachute but do it early do it early do it like in single player press your f key if he doesn't open his parachute press your space bar okay personally i haven't deleted my saved folder okay uh, for them to rewrite the controls, I like Spacebar, okay? Yes, did it, you know, did it give me a heart attack the first time I pressed F and it didn't open the space bar, the parachute, yes. But, you know, at the moment, I like Spacebar. And then in the game, guys, you can get parachutes as well, okay? Which you can have fun with. So let me give you one instance of just having a bit of fun with a parachute. Okay, guys, so this is a parachute, okay? That's on the ground. Parachute, device used to slow the motion of an object through an atmosphere by creating drag, okay? The the thing is, you can only use this parachute once. If you guys want to know where to find it, the the little airport where you can refuel your planes, um, the one year in Z0 and the one year in A4, um, spawns in the hangars. They spawn airplane repair kits, okay, and parachutes. Um, you can probably find it other places as well, but those are the two spots where I find it quite easily. So now you see we're wearing a parachute, okay? And now with a parachute, you can have some fun, okay? 
I've already jumped off the radio tower, you know, but this is, this is, this is some kind of fun that you can have. Okay, so you jump. And then you can mouse wheel forward to control your tra trajectory and then open your parachute. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. And of course you can jump down and um, land on the roof. Okay guys, so that's the main reason, okay, that people want to use parachutes. So let's say that's a base, okay? Let's say that's a base and I want to land in the church, okay? Right there below us, that's the church, right there the propeller, okay? Now we want to land inside the church. Here we go. Okay, we want to land inside the church, guys. guys you will never get this right okay if the wind's strong you will never get it right except if you like if you accept if you like try and kill yourself with the late parachute opening if there's no wind then you will be able to control where you land perfectly okay but if there's wind if there's any kind of wind you're going to struggle your butt off okay unless you open the parachute extremely late you know and see if you survive but I mean, if you're parachuting into a base area, then you're probably doing with with C4 and screwdrivers and rubber gloves or whatever. And the last thing you want to do is maybe die. Okay, and parachuting into a base area is not that safe in any case, guys, because there could be mines. You could be very unlucky and land on a mine. Okay, and then you just gifted someone your C4s and your screwdrivers and whatever you took into the base for raiding, okay? So yes, can you parachute into a base? Sure. But a lot of the time when the weather isn't good, okay, then you won't be able to. So if you want to parachute into a base, first have someone close to the base, let him use a scope because the scope will, if you, you know, if you press control on the scope, it will give you the windage. So then you can see what the weather is like, you know, and then you guys can play around with the weather to try and land inside a base. But again, my base is going to be full of traps, okay? So good luck with that. And it will be great if you spawn into your, you know, if you spawn in, you see a dead guy lying there, okay? Or the thought of someone died in your, you know, inside your base area and they couldn't get into the base area again and they lost all their equipment. That's, of course, you know, a little good thought. So if you guys have got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you guys some training on the plane. And then on Saturday, I'm going to give you guys my expert opinion on the trading system. Okay? Not going to spawn in every item in the game and tell you this is what they sell for. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay? I'm spending time learning how the, how the, trade, how the trade system is working. Okay? Um... So, yeah, on um, Saturday, I will give you my thoughts that I've learned over the last week instead of just giving you a very, very easy video where I just type in a command, spawn all items, put it in chests, you know, and put the chest at traders and then show you the prices, which is the easiest thing in the world to do. So, see you guys um, tomorrow where we're going to look at planes, okay, and everything that we need to know about planes. And on Saturday, I will tell you guys everything you need to know about traders. And then if you guys are, have got any other questions, leave it down in the comments below. And I'll, and I'll put that in the series as well. Okay, If you feel the update has changed something drastically, um, which you've got questions about, put it in the comments below and we'll discuss it. Okay, see you guys later. Cheers.